When Governor Romney accepts the Republican nomination scheduled on Thursday, it will be a moment that he has been striving for for six years since he started running in 2007. Some Republicans wonder whether Romney is too moderate for the increasingly conservative party. We talked to Romney about that during a campaign stop in Michigan. We started with the party's new platform and how it deals with abortion. The platform uh, does not allow for exceptions on abortion with regard to the health of the mother or rape or incest. Is well, that my, where you are? No, my position has been clear throughout uh, this campaign. I'm in favor of uh, abortion being legal in the case of rape and incest and the health and life of the mother. But recognize, this is the decision that will be made by the Supreme Court. The, the Democrats try and make this a political issue every four years, but this is a matter in the courts. It's been settled for some time in the courts. I, I come down on the, the side of life. I respect people who have a different point of view with regards to contraceptives. Of course, people have a right to use contraceptives. And the Democrats' effort to try to make that an issue is kind of silly. But, but this issue of life is an important one. And we have differing views on this, and people should consider them. Uh -huh. This is a Rambler American. We continued our interview with Mitt Romney and his wife, Ann. The campaign had parked nearby a 1964 Rambler convertible built by American Motors, the company that was run by Romney's father. George Romney, who died in 1995, was one of the biggest influences in his son's life. George Romney ran for the GOP nomination in 1968 and later served as housing secretary. He was considered a moderate Republican. You know, when you think about your father, this Republican Party that you're leading is not your father's Republican Party. He mm -hmm. opposed Barry Goldwater in 1964 when this car was built. He was for a, a passionate advocate for government support for housing for poor people. I wonder how you would explain this Republican Party to your father. I think my dad and I were very much on the same page. Uh, I'm also a, a stalwart and advocate for civil rights and equality and, uh, and will fight to assure that, that people are able to have equal opportunity in America. And many people don't have an opportunity today to achieve their dreams. That's unfortunate. It's something I'll try and, and change. Some people in your party don't like you. Are you a candidate for the entire Republican Party? Well, we're a big party. <laughs> there are, I don't know how many hundred million people are, uh, or so are, are Republican, and I'm not sure that everybody's going to think I'm the ideal person, but I'm going to be the nominee, I believe, as of the end of this week, and we're going to come together. And the people who are really open to voting for me, that I need to get to vote for me to win the presidency, are independents and Democrats who've been disappointed by the last four years. And we'll have more tomorrow with Ann Romney.